Quality three generations strong. Call Earnhardt Oil and Propane at 866-270-1279 or visit www.earnhardtpropane.com. For those in Perry and the surrounding communities, we are right in your backyard. Located next to the hospital at 505 North 14th Street, the Perry Family Physicians Clinic is the practice of Dr. Baird, Dr. Hartwig, and Colleen Krieger, PAC. Perry Family Physicians are committed to providing leading-edge preventive care and chronic disease management to patients of all ages in a warm and welcoming environment. To schedule your appointment, call 580-336-3529 today. Versatile Networks can handle all of your school or business technology and wiring needs. Expanding into a new building or office space, we would love to give you a free quote for your network wiring. Are your computers outdated? Are your servers slow? Is your network underperforming? Is your wireless network weak? Let Versatile Networks come in and assess the situation and get you back up and running the way you should be. Call Versatile Networks today at 405-217-0267 or visit versatilenetworks.com for more information. The SMC Specialty Clinic of Perry has services close to home. Why drive to a big city for a specialist when they will come to us? The SMC Specialty Clinic of Perry, located at 1412 Fur Avenue, offers services for the following medical specialties. Obstetrics and gynecology, ophthalmology, orthopedics, pulmonology, rheumatology, general surgery, and urology. To make an appointment or inquire for more information, call the clinic at 580-336-8990. The SMC Specialty Clinic of Perry. Specialty care without leaving town. Allegiant Marketing Group produces inbound lead generation for our clients through integrated traditional and digital campaigns. We continuously develop new strategies, tactics, and productive efficiencies so you can reach your target market and get a measurable return on investment. This fast-paced world demands for your products and services to be presented at the moment your buyers need them. Targeted and innovative marketing creates your success. Call AMG today, your marketing partner. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. We are farmers. Would you rather buy insurance from a 1-800 number or from someone you know? My name is Sarah and I'm also a Covington Douglas Wildcat. My agency is here to meet all your insurance needs, so call us today for a free quote, 405-356-0404. And don't forget to look us up on Facebook, Sarah Peer Insurance Agency. Go Cats! the pros with Squirtle Live. Find out more at squirtle.com slash dream. Imagine a school with more than 26,000 enrollments per year, cultivating opportunities for students to develop new skills and gain industry-recognized certification. Now imagine a corporate training center that partners with more than 500 local businesses each year, providing a productive and prepared workforce for employers in Oklahoma through customized training now. Imagine a community resource who believes our business thrives when our community thrives. We aren't just the local Votech, we are Autry Technology Center. Although medical services are the way we care for people, we also believe that a community hospital provides a unique opportunity to care about people. For every stage of your life and every need your family has, we welcome you as our neighbors, fellow community members, and friends, and treat you with innovative medicine right here at home. We welcome you to discover why we say the size of the hospital has nothing to do with the size of the care. At Stillwater Medical Perry, we consider it a privilege to be able to help you stay as healthy as possible, keeping you conveniently close to home. 
The Community Medical Clinic is easy to find at 1318 Elm Street across the street from Stillwater Medical Perry Hospital. The facility serves the patients of Dr. Julian Cecil and PAC Robin Mangum. From pediatric well checks, annual wellness visits, or illness and injuries, Dr. Cecil, Robin, and their staff enjoy taking care of patients of all ages. The facility serves as one of Perry's Sooner Care providers. Medicare, Medicaid, and most other insurance are accepted. Stay close to home. To schedule an appointment time, call 580 580- Three six ninety four eleven. Are you looking for a local, reliable propane provider? Earnhardt Oil and Propane has been serving customers throughout Oklahoma since 1971. Let them tailor a pricing option to fit your budget. Avoid winter price spikes with easy pay, steady, predictable monthly payments you can count on. Need more fuel options? They also offer bulk fuel delivery, DEF, lubricants, and supplies for your business, all at competitive prices. For reliability three generations strong, call Earnhardt Oil and Propane at 866-270-1279 or visit www.earnhardtpropane.com. For those in Perry and the surrounding communities, we are right in your backyard. Located next to the hospital at 505 North 14th Street, the Perry Family Physicians Clinic is the practice of Dr. Baird, Dr. Hartwig, and Colleen Krieger, PAC. Perry Family Physicians are committed to providing leading-edge preventive care and chronic disease management to patients of all ages in a warm and welcoming environment. To schedule your appointment, call 580-336-3529 today. Versatile Networks can handle all of your school or business technology and wiring needs. Expanding into a new building or office space, we would love to give you a free quote for your network wiring. Are your computers outdated? Are your servers slow? Is your network underperforming? Is your wireless network weak? Let Versatile Networks come in and assess the situation and get you back up and running the way you should be. Call Versatile Networks today at 405-217-0267 or visit versatilenetworks.com for more information. The SMC Specialty Clinic of Perry has services close to home. Why drive to a big city for a specialist when they will come to us? The SMC Specialty Clinic of Perry, located at 1412 Fur Avenue, offers services for the following medical specialties. Obstetrics and gynecology, ophthalmology, orthopedics, pulmonology, rheumatology, general surgery, and urology. To make an appointment or inquire for more information, call the clinic at 580 580- 336-8990. The SMC Specialty Clinic of Perry. Specialty care without leaving town. Allegiant Marketing Group produces inbound lead generation for our clients through integrated traditional and digital campaigns. We continuously develop new strategies, tactics, and productive efficiencies so you can reach your target market and get a measurable return on investment. This fast-paced world demands for your products and services to be presented at the moment your buyers need them. And we're just a minute away from the beginning of the Pioneer Mustangs and the coming of those Wildcats. Disappointing night for the Wildcats last night. Yeah, no, I'm I mean, not. I'm not going to sugarcoat it at all. Um, it was a tough night. Uh, didn't execute. Couldn't score. Um, just a rough overall. And I, and I stayed. And I stayed for the Pioneer Garber game right after. I, I stayed for a little bit. And Pioneer gave Garber all they wanted. Yeah. You know, you could tell that they could shoot the ball a little bit. I'm really excited to see the Wildcats bounce back in this game. And kind of see where they're going to go progress and go forward from it. Yeah, and you know that's a, that's the telltale sign of a good team. Um, you know you're undefeated, 13 and 0. You know you're kind of anxious to get that first loss. Uh, the wins are going to come. You know you don't want to lose. Now they've got it. Um, now it's time to regroup and show how good of a team you are. No, um, yeah, absolutely. And it starts from the beginning. Your starters for the Kevin Douglas Wildcats right now: number four, Parker Smith. Number five, Weston Carl. Senior number 15, Glory Humba. Senior number 23, Cameron Smith. And senior number 32, James Kroll. Same starting lineup as we saw last night. And the starters for the home team on the scoreboard, the Pioneer Mustangs. Now, 
number four, Ty Bennett. Number 12, Ty Parker. Sophomore, number 20, Cash Hammett. Freshman, number 23, Aiden Iverson. And senior, number 32, Kobe Vestal. I'm going to tell you right now, 23 has the coolest last name here. Kobe? Iverson. Iverson. I, I, is it Kobe Iverson? Aiden Iverson. Aiden Iverson, okay. Aiden Iverson. But you know, some some people at home may think my uh, my thoughts on last night game is a little bit harsh. Uh, you know, I, I'm not there with been, you. Yeah, no, I've I've been with these boys, um, you know, all of, all of their football seasons. So you know, basically the entire year, um, you know, I've been following them and watching them. You know, I've been talking to them and stuff like that. Like they're harder on themselves than you could probably imagine. And no, so I, tonight. Absolutely. I expect to see all the fire. Yeah, I've seen these boys compete. We've been watching them play football. You know, we're, we know these kids. We know we know their yeah. home, their home lives, and all the all the good stuff. So we expect them to want greatness for themselves. Mm -hmm. Shot there for number 23, Cameron Smith, and he'll miss. Just Rebound goes to number 23, Aiden Iverson, and he'll start bringing it up the court. Pioneer working the ball around the perimeter. Great defense there by James Cole to get around and get the ball. And Parker Smith kind of tried kind of a tough pass there, but I like the aggressiveness. Yeah, just need a little bit more of a lob there, I think, and that would have helped. You got some, you got some long kids on Pioneer side. Number 15, Glory Humba. And he'll shoot three and he'll miss. Number 20, Cash Hammock handling the ball on the out, on the outside. He'll get it out to number 12, Ty Parker. He'll get it back to number 23, Aiden James, Iverson. James Kroll still doing a good job down low. Kind of watch them battle back and forth between block to block. They, they're trying to get the entry pass in. Can't get it. James is doing a really good job fronting and keeping uh, Vestal low. Do you think James is – you think James' history of playing linebacker really kind of helps him with that? Oh, yeah, definitely having to be tough. Exactly, and uh, you know, because he's just a little bit undersized, but he's doing a really good job so far. Uh, number five, Weston Carl, he'll shoot and he'll miss. Pioneer will take the ball and start taking it right back down. Foul be called on number five, Weston Carl. Pioneer Mustangs. Ty Dennett for three. And he'll miss. Big rebound there by number four, Parker Smith. Wise decision there. Not very many numbers. Pulls it back out and they get a chance to set up their offense. Well, it's Lord Humba there to kind of set it up. It's the ball out to Weston Carl. And they'll drop it down to Cameron Smith. Parker Smith looks for the shot. Gives it right back down to Cameron Smith. It looks like they're going to allow Cameron Smith to shoot that short corner uh, mid-range jumper. I know he can make that shot, so, I mean, have at it. Right. right. Uh, shot there by Glory. And he'll miss long. Wildcats going to stay in that main-to-main -main defense. One thing I've noticed so far is that they're still not crashing the offensive boards. I'd like to see that a little more. Um, you know, it's you got one guy pretty much going for the rebounds. I'd like to see about three of them go. Glory with a fantastic job selling that foul. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. <laughs> And they call out their own pioneer. I was expecting a jump ball, but you know I'll take it. Yeah, it, it is what it is. Weston's gonna get a free throw. No good. Will but get the rebound. What you want? He'll get it down there. Twenty-three. Cameron Smith. Weston Carl will get another three-point opportunity, and that one will that one won't disappoint. Yeah. I'm not gonna pack him up too soon because yesterday, you know, he started out with like nine points and then kind of got a little quiet. So I'm just gonna let it brew a little bit. Yeah. I'm trying to put last night behind us. Yep. I'm trying. Number 15, Glory Humba, playing on a young Aiden Iverson. You know, Glory did really well against him at, at Pioneer. Um, going to have to bring that same intensity because you do not want to let him get going. No, I, I agree. 
Number 23, Aiden Iverson for three. Ball will be long. Rebound by number five, Weston Carl. And they'll get a jump ball out of the Possession will stay here with Pioneer. The Pioneer Mustangs. Pioneer looking to get the ball and they get tied in it in the corner. Big tip there by Parker Smith. However, the possession will stay with the Pioneer Mustangs. Shot there by number 32, Colby Bestel, and he'll draw the foul. That's the guy that, um, that's the player that hurt Covington the most at Pioneer. Um, shot the ball really well. He's pretty shifty, and he's got some sides. So definitely one of the kids you need to try to stop tonight. Yeah, he's got a nice little smooth little shot. He'll hit the first free throw. Looks that'll tie the ball game up at three with four minutes and 23 seconds left to go in the first. And he'll hit the second, put them up by one. Glory Humba. Ball to Weston Carl. Parker Smith for three. That one will fall long. However, I think that was off Pioneer, and that'll stay with the Wildcats. I'm really getting disappointed with this angle because, uh, you know, there's a lot of threes that look just baller, like they're going to be swish, you know, look good coming off the hand, and then it's nothing. I'm just like, oh, my gosh. Well, you're right. Look, there's a lot of things I want to say up here, you know, to anticipate it, but I'll be speaking too soon. Great job there by Weston Carl getting it kind of, kind of the open man. Great job there by Christian Tarango trying to get over the way. It's got to be an offensive foul, I'd have to imagine here. Yep. It's a good job by Christian being there and, and going up for the ball first. It's going to be the first personal foul for number four, Ty did in a Pioneer. Big move there by James Kroll, and he'll just miss short. Rebound by Aiden Iverson. Number 32 with the big shot there for Pioneer. Rebound will go to 15, Glory Humba. He'll start taking it to the other end. He'll stop for a nice little floater. That'll be good for the Wildcats. That's a smart move for him, too, instead of barreling in there and might possibly picking up an offensive foul. You know, he's pretty consistent at hitting those. So if he's got open floor and he's open in that spot, I want him taking that all day. Oh, I, I completely agree with you. Good defense by the Wildcats, and they'll be on a push here. Got a couple of numbers. Christian Tarango. Struggling to get a hold of it. Good tap number 32. James Crow, he'll take a nice little dribble. He'll get a mid-range jumper, and that'll fall good. And I, I like that because you know that they've conversed about last night in that game. So, you know, they shot a lot of threes because it was uh, they were open, but, uh, you know, they weren't falling. And so today, you know, kind of taking that approach, trying to get started, taking a dribble in, you know, hitting that easier shot first and then kind of get yourself going on the three-point line later. You definitely you live by the three, you die by the three. That's yes. the truest. Yes, and so I, I like how they're kind of, um, you know, trying to get going first tonight. Number 20 cash, Hammock taking it in. Good defense by Christian, and I think that's going to be out on Pioneer. It is. State possession of the Wildcats. With two minutes and six seconds left to go in the first, Kevin Douglas Wildcats seven, the Pioneer Mustangs four. In today's 97th annual Skelter Conference Tournament, this game will determine third place for the conference. I'd be curious to see when the last time Covington got in third was. Or, you know, even even fifth. Uh, I mean, I know. We, we got third my senior year. Okay, okay. So, because I know in high school, we, I don't know if we got anywhere close to it. But What would they get last year, do you know? That's a good question. Hmm. I forget. But I, I, I don't know if that was the last time. What did yeah. you finish your sophomore year here, your first year here? 
I don't even, I, I barely remember the gym we played in. That, that was game. an 80 center. That was an 80 center. Like, you might have gotten third then, but I know, like I said, I know we got it, like, we got it my senior year. That's the 80 center. Because we beat, we beat Garber in the first round, which was, which was an upset at the time. Yeah. Hmm. That looked good, too. But shooting at the maybe center was a lot different. You know, it, it, it was a regular gym. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad I got one year there. 55 seconds left to go. Covington 10, Pioneer 7. Good defense by James Kroll straight up, and he will get the rebound, and they're going off to the races. I expect Laura Humba to take this on, on self, and oh. he'll miss the layup. I'd like to see a little use of glass there. It looks pretty when you finger roll straight into the net, but. Big shot there by number 12 for Pioneer. Got to come up with this. Justin Carl does. Looks like Covington's going to take the last shot would be my guess. Yeah, you definitely want to go in the first quarter with the lead. Mm -hmm. What are the most important quarters in a basketball game? First and the third. I learned that from Coach Kaiser years ago. Yeah. And the reason I say that, some people might be, well, the fourth quarter is most, the most important. Well, you know, the first quarter, however you play then, interprets how the first half is going to go. And the third quarter, you know. No, absolutely. That'll be the end of the first quarter. The Kevin Douglas Wildcats 10, the Pioneer Mustang 7. Targeted and innovative marketing creates your success. Call AMG today, your marketing partner. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. We are farmers. Would you rather buy insurance from a 1-800 number or from someone you know? My name is Sarah and I'm also a Covington Douglas Wildcat. My agency is here to meet all your insurance needs, so call us today for a free quote, 405-356-0404. And don't forget to look us up on Facebook, Sarah Peer Insurance Agency. Go Cats! For anyone that's just now tuning in, beginning of the second quarter, Kevin Douglas Wildcats 10, Pioneer Mustang 7, Gord Huma getting the ball and getting out to number four, Parker Smith. Wildcats working the ball around the perimeter. Christian Tarango looks to drive, will kick it to Parker Smith. Back out to Cameron Smith for a short little corner jumper, and that ball will be good. I really like Cameron Smith in that position. That's why earlier they were kind of giving him space to let him shoot that, and I think they should keep feeding that. You know, yeah, no, I, I'm on the same page as you. Would love to see more out of that, Cameron Smith. Pioneer working the ball. That's great. Big shot there, number 32. Good shot, good shot, good defense, better shot. Number four, Parker Smith for three, and he'll miss. And rebound will go back to Pioneer, and they'll start working the ball up towards their side of the court. I'm not sure how uh, Cameron's going to match up against uh, 32, um, just for the mere fact that he can play outside as well. So um, my only worry is that when he plays outside of the, you know, the paint, Cameron's going to have a difficult time. But so far, they've been trying to take it to him under... Uh, you know, on the block, so let's see how that goes. You know, as far as size, I think Cameron, he compared with them, you know, toe-to-toe. -to -toe. But you're right, you know, you have this, you have that possibility right there. He handles the ball yeah. really well, too. Yeah, he could, he could definitely play guard. They just need him for his size in the paint. One of those mis misfortunate rebounds. Got to keep a hand up if you're Cameron here. He can definitely shoot the three. Yeah, I mean, right there. You know, we just saw it. Number four, Parker Smith will get the rebound. He'll start taking it to the other end. He'll find, he'll find Weston Carl. He'll make a move. 
He'll miss. Rebound will go to number 15, Glory Humba. Mm. And he'll keep the he'll keep the possession alive. Glory Humba looking. He'll pull up for three. And that'll be good. He's definitely developed a shot since he was a freshman um, from beyond the arc, but um, he's been struggling in this tournament a little bit, so maybe that one will strike something here. Pioneer looking to set something up right now. Walkout's going to say in that man-to-man -man defense. And Iverson will draw the foul on our number five, Weston Carl. First free throw will be good for Pioneer. Checking in the game for Kevin Douglas, number 10, Drake Darty. Knocks down the pair there, cuts it to four. Number 23, Cameron Smith with the shot. And you think they're going to come out next trip and maybe put a hand out? Um, you know, maybe. Um, you know, he's two for three from that exact spot on that side of the floor. Um, you know, I think you're considering it at this point, but he hasn't necessarily killed you guys. Killed him on it. Big shot there by 23, Aiden Iverson. Yeah. Dropping down, but that gives Drake an open look. Just a the hair long. Got to get, get back on defense here. And number 24, Christian Tarango on the charge call. Yep. He does a good job by him. Fouls on the Mustang. Number 23, Aiden Iverson. His second personal 13 foul. It's a second foul on Iverson. With four minutes and 36 seconds left to go, the Kevin Douglas Wildcats 17 and the Pioneer Mustangs 14. And they'll drop it down to Cameron Smith, and they are closing on Cameron Smith now. Yes. You know, but that, that opens up the defense so much because it takes away, um, you know, the top, top left player on that 2-3 zone and opens up that middle so much. So I think that is going to keep playing to their benefit. And um, if Pioneer doesn't change that, I expect Covington's going to start exploiting that. Well, yeah, we just kind of saw him exploit it a little bit right there with the kick out to Christian Tarango right back down to Parker Smith for an easy two bucks. Mm -hmm. points. <laughs> Number four tied in at handling the ball for the Pioneer Mustangs. I don't think Glory's going to give him any space anymore. No, I don't, I don't think he is, yeah. Opinion. And Aiden he's looking to hit. And he, he's a young ball player. He's going to be very good in the future. Yeah, I agree. That's a tough basket there. And he earned it. He earned all two of those points. Parker Smith handling the ball right now for the Wildcats. Parker Smith will look to shoot three. Shot there by number 24, Christian Tarango, and he'll he'll miss. Yep. That's a, that's a high high percentage shot. That's, he's wide open. Just got to knock it down. You know, that's the only thing missing from that. You know, good ball movement, good look. That was a really nice pass there by Aiden Iverson to find an open tie goal. With two minutes and 45 seconds left to go, Kevin Douglas 19 and the Pioneer Mustangs 18. Wildcats kind of looking to set up their offense here. Parker Smith dropping it back down to Cameron Smith, and he'll find himself open again, and he'll hit that third one in a row. Oh, 
or he gives the ball away just a little too far to get it. Ball getting in there to Aiden Iverson, being guarded by Gore. Gore's doing a great job on him. See Pioneer probably getting a timeout here pretty quick. Parker Smith handling the ball right now for the Wildcats. As you can tell, they're kind of changing things a little bit, um, kind of testing that theory that they're going to double down on Cameron and leave that corner spot open. But they've also changed defenses, so I don't know if they're going to continue to do that or not. Big shot there by number 24. Big rebound and shot from number 24, Christian Tarango. You know, we kind of missed that from him yesterday, so I'm glad to see him get that hustle rebound and that putback. It's like, it's like he came up here and talked to us. Nice job there by Christian Tarango finding his way and getting the layup. Excellent off step, excellent finish. Good job, Chico, on that one. He'll get out there on Ty Dennett. Ty Dennett will drive, and he'll get his layup. Can't, can't start trade buckets now. No. you got to find a way to pull away. Yeah. With a minute left, you have the Kevin Douglas Wildcats 25 and the Pioneer Mustangs 20. Christian Tarango working the ball around, being guarded by number 20, Cash Hammock. Get back out to Christian. Work into 15, Glory Humba. Pioneer working the ball in, trying to get it into Ty Dennett. Deep three. It's no good. Going to have a shot at saving it for Pioneer, and they will, but going the other way. Going to the hands of Kevin Douglas Wildcats. With 15 seconds left, coming to Douglas Wildcats 25, and the Pioneer Mustangs 20, and they'll be holding here for the last shot of the first half. Seven. Shot there by number four, Parker Smith, and that third one will be good. And that'll be the end of the first half. Kevin Douglas 28 and the Pioneer Mustangs 20. We'll go to a quick eight-minute halftime. Stream like the pros with Squirtle Live. Find out more at squirtle.com slash stream. Imagine a school with more than 26,000 enrollments per year cultivating opportunities for students to develop new skills and gain industry-recognized certification. Now imagine a corporate training center that partners with more than 500 local businesses each year, providing a productive and prepared workforce for employers in Oklahoma through customized training. Now imagine a community resource who believes our business thrives when our community thrives. We aren't just the local Votech, we are Autry Technology Center. Although medical services are the way we care for people, we also believe that a community hospital provides a unique opportunity to care about people. For every stage of your life and every need your family has, we welcome you as our neighbors, fellow community members, and friends, and treat you with innovative medicine right here at home. We welcome you to discover why we say the size of the hospital has nothing to do with the size of the care. At Stillwater Medical Perry, we consider it a privilege to be able to help you stay as healthy as possible, keeping you conveniently close to home. The Community Medical Clinic is easy to find at 1318 Elm Street across the street from Stillwater Medical Perry Hospital. The facility serves the patients of Dr. Julian Cecil and PAC Robin Mangum. From pediatric well checks, annual wellness visits, or illness and injuries, Dr. Cecil, Robin, and their staff enjoy taking care of patients of all ages. The facility serves as one of Perry's Sooner Care providers. Medicare, Medicaid, and most other insurance are accepted. Stay close to home. To schedule an appointment time, call 580 3 Three six ninety four eleven.
Are you looking for a local, reliable propane provider? Earnhardt Oil and Propane has been serving customers throughout Oklahoma since 1971. Let them tailor a pricing option to fit your budget. Avoid winter price spikes with easy pay, steady, predictable monthly payments you can count on. Need more fuel options? They also offer bulk fuel delivery, DEF, lubricants, and supplies for your business, all at competitive prices. For reliability three generations strong, call Earnhardt Oil and Propane at 866-270-1279 or visit www.earnhardtpropane.com. For those in Perry and the surrounding communities, we are right in your backyard. Located next to the hospital at 505 North 14th Street, the Perry Family Physicians Clinic is the practice of Dr. Baird, Dr. Hartwig, and Colleen Krieger, PAC. Perry Family Physicians are committed to providing leading-edge preventive care and chronic disease management to patients of all ages in a warm and welcoming environment. To schedule your appointment, call 580-336-3529 today. Versatile Networks can handle all of your school or business technology and wiring needs. Expanding into a new building or office space, we would love to give you a free quote for your network wiring. Are your computers outdated? Are your servers slow? Is your network underperforming? Is your wireless network weak? Let Versatile Networks come in and assess the situation and get you back up and running the way you should be. Call Versatile Networks today at 405-217-0267 or visit versatilenetworks.com for more information. The SMC Specialty Clinic of Perry has services close to home. Why drive to a big city for a specialist when they will come to us? The SMC Specialty Clinic of Perry, located at 1412 Fur Avenue, offers services for the following medical specialties. Obstetrics and gynecology, ophthalmology, orthopedics, pulmonology, rheumatology, general surgery, and urology. To make an appointment or inquire for more information, call the clinic at 580-336-8990. The SMC Specialty Clinic of Perry. Specialty care without leaving town. Allegiant Marketing Group produces inbound lead generation for our clients through integrated traditional and digital campaigns. We continuously develop new strategies, tactics, and productive efficiencies so you can reach your target market and get a measurable return on investment. This fast-paced world demands for your products and services to be presented at the moment your buyers need them. Targeted and innovative marketing creates your success. Call AMG today, your marketing partner. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. We are farmers. Would you rather buy insurance from a 1-800 number or from someone you know? My name is Sarah and I'm also a Covington Douglas Wildcat. My agency is here to meet all your insurance needs, so call us today for a free quote, 405-356-0404. And don't forget to look us up on Facebook, Sarah Peer Insurance Agency. Go Cats! the pros with Squirtle Live. Find out more at squirtle.com slash dream. Imagine a school with more than 26,000 enrollments per year, cultivating opportunities for students to develop new skills and gain industry-recognized certification. Now imagine a corporate training center that partners with more than 500 local businesses each year, providing a productive and prepared workforce for employers in Oklahoma through customized training now. Imagine a community resource who believes our business thrives when our community thrives. We aren't just the local Votech, we are Autry Technology Center. 
Although medical services are the way we care for people, we also believe that a community hospital provides a unique opportunity to care about people. For every stage of your life and every need your family has, we welcome you as our neighbors, fellow community members, and friends, and treat you with innovative medicine right here at home. We welcome you to discover why we say the size of the hospital has nothing to do with the size of the care. At Stillwater Medical Perry, we consider it a privilege to be able to help you stay as healthy as possible, keeping you conveniently close to home. The Community Medical Clinic is easy to find at 1318 Elm Street across the street from Stillwater Medical Perry Hospital. The facility serves the patients of Dr. Julian Cecil and PAC Robin Mangum. From pediatric well checks, annual wellness visits, or illness and injuries, Dr. Cecil, Robin, and their staff enjoy taking care of patients of all ages. The facility serves as one of Perry's Sooner Care providers. Medicare, Medicaid, and most other insurance are accepted. Stay close to home. To schedule an appointment time, call 580 3 Three six ninety four eleven. Are you looking for a local, reliable propane provider? Earnhardt Oil and Propane has been serving customers throughout Oklahoma since 1971. Let them tailor a pricing option to fit your budget. Avoid winter price spikes with easy pay, steady, predictable monthly payments you can count on. Need more fuel options? They also offer bulk fuel delivery, DEF, lubricants, and supplies for your business, all at competitive prices. For reliability three generations strong, call Earnhardt Oil and Propane at 866-270-1279 or visit www.earnhardtpropane.com. For those in Perry and the surrounding communities, we are right in your backyard. Located next to the hospital at 505 North 14th Street, the Perry Family Physicians Clinic is the practice of Dr. Baird, Dr. Hartwig, and Colleen Krieger, PAC. Perry Family Physicians are committed to providing leading-edge preventive care and chronic disease management to patients of all ages in a warm and welcoming environment. To schedule your appointment, call 580-336-3529 today. Versatile Networks can handle all of your school or business technology and wiring needs. Expanding into a new building or office space, we would love to give you a free quote for your network wiring. Are your computers outdated? Are your servers slow? Is your network underperforming? Is your wireless network weak? Let Versatile Networks come in and assess the situation and get you back up and running the way you should be. Call Versatile Networks today at 405-217-0267 or visit versatilenetworks.com for more information. The SMC Specialty Clinic of Perry has services close to home. Why drive to a big city for a specialist when they will come to us? The SMC Specialty Clinic of Perry, located at 1412 Fur Avenue, offers services for the following medical specialties. Obstetrics and gynecology, ophthalmology, orthopedics, pulmonology, rheumatology, general surgery, and urology. To make an appointment or inquire for more information, call the clinic at 580-336-8990. The SMC Specialty Clinic of Perry. Specialty care without leaving town. Allegiant Marketing Group produced. Oh. <clears throat> We're live. We're good. <laughs> we now hand signals. Ross said something I'll follow up close to. So we're back, ready to start the second half. For anyone that's just now tuning in, the Kevin Nichols Wildcats 28, the Pioneer Mustangs 20. Pioneer will start with possession of the ball being the game. Number 20, Cash Hammock, looking to shoot the ball, get out to Iverson. Uh, I'd like to see a push off right there. Push off. off. The arm, you know, good job by Gordon by Stanton. Um, you know, contact with him. That's still a tough shot to make. Weston Carl working the ball around, getting it out to Parker Smith. Rory Humba with the shot. That ball will miss. Number 
number 12 with a shot. He'll miss. Rebound goes James Kroll. Hmm. Looks like it'll go back to the Pioneer Mustangs. Cash Hammond and Candle on the ball for the Pioneer Mustangs. Got to get that help over there just a little bit faster and you might be able to take a charge. Just a little late on the slide, getting over to him. And he'll go for the two. Parker Smith getting into Weston Carl. was going for the mid-range jumper back out to Parker Smith. And Weston Carl will shoot the three. Will rim out and will just miss the rebound. Ty Dennett with the rebound start going the other way. He'll shoot the layup and rebound going back to the Wildcats. They have some numbers, but James Cole will get rid of it out to Glory. And he'll get out to Weston Carl. That was one of those times that we want to see Weston Carl come back down on two feet. Yeah, the angle just wasn't there. So that's going to be called nine times out of ten. Yeah. All right, you know, if you're James Cole, you got to know your situation. There. You yeah. leave your feet. They're going to call it. Yeah. Definitely, definitely should have tried to slide over, take that charge. You know, we saw the, um, you know, Jory Kincaid take two of them in the girls' game. You know, I don't, I don't think we've, we've got one tonight, maybe, for the boys, but. Mm, I think so, yeah. Definitely. Something like that. Quick time out here taken. We'll stay on for the 30 seconds. Looks like it's going to be a quick timeout. Kind of talk to everyone. Make him think about it a little bit. With six minutes left to go in the third, Kevin Douglas Walkhouse 28 and the Pioneer Mustangs 26. I fully expect this game to kind of go toward, you know, to the wire. Yeah. Pioneers not going anywhere, and the Wildcats got a lot to prove after last night. Yeah, and I, first, game, first game between, you know, Pioneer and Covington was pretty close until about just the end. So, um, you know, I expect, I expect this game to be competitive the entire way. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Pioneer... Pioneer does basketball. I mean, that's it's been a big, big sport over there for years. And he'll hit his free throw to bring Pioneer within one of the Wildcats. Glory Humba handling the ball to Weston Carl. Kind of looks like they're going to leave James Kroll open around the three-point line. So they'll close out on Parker Smith and close out on that nice little jumper there from Cameron Smith. Lori Huma kind of looking, thinking about shooting it. We'll get Parker Smith open around and he'll miss, but rebound Cameron Smith will put it back up and he'll miss. Then rebound will go to Lori Huma. He'll put it back up and draw the foul for two. Yeah, that's one of Covington's strong suits when they do it is, you know, crash the boards and get offensive rebounds. Do a good job with that, and it makes them a better team. When they're doing it, they're they're winning usually, and when they're not, it's when they struggle. Glory Humba's coming. It's like he might have gotten cut or something. Yeah. To have an official's quick timeout. Looks like he needs a new jersey. Yeah, he's got some blood on there too, I imagine. And Corey Humble will turn to number 21. Time out called by Covington Douglas. This will be a 30 second timeout. That's interesting. Seeing Glory in 21, that's. <laughs> I don't think it'll mess with me if it won't mess with you. Yeah. Quick officials timeout, both coaches. You talk to their teams. Uh, no, Coach Darty actually called timeout just so oh, we would have time to get Glory cleaned up and, and ready to go. I imagine he wants him to Say that one more time because you said that as soon as the buzzer came I know on. it. I imagine Coach Darty wants Glory shooting those free throws. I mean, he's done a really good job of shooting throughout this tournament. I agree. I'm a big fan of music during timeouts. I try to do it during custom football games, if you heard notice. Yeah. Actually made a whole playlist 
Final 2D football. There you go. Twenty one Glory Humba lining up to shoot free throws. First one will go in. Second one will be good. That is why they called the timeout to put him in to shoot those free throws. Good Two timeout two. taken. Nice little give and go. Cameron Smith can't call for the foul. And he'll miss the first free throw. But he will sink the second. He'll bring Pioneer within two, 30 to 28, Kevin Douglas lead. Parker Smith handling the ball back out to Weston Carl. He'll shoot the three from the top of the key and he'll miss. Rebound Iverson and he'll start taking it to the other end. I'd like to see Covington try to get inside the three point line here on these next couple of possessions, kind of like what they're doing in the first quarter, first half. Looks like foul's going to be called on James Kroll there. Pioneer will go to the line and shoot two. Got some blood on the floor is what I think they're talking about. Not sure if Glory's still bleeding or if it was from a previous possession, possibly. Checking players here. So they might have found it. Looks like he's going to run off the floor to change jerseys. We need to sub someone in. Need to do something here. Pioneer is trying to sub in number five, Eduardo Vargas. Number five, Eduardo Vargas. You know. That free throw will, will go in. Regardless of how this game turns out, I imagine that the Wildcat basketball teams cannot wait to get out of this gym and back into their home gym for uh, next week's games. It's been a tough, tough shooting gym. Yeah, I mean, for them. I mean, it's it's definitely affected the Wildcats a lot more than it has anybody else. Um, I don't know if it's just a slump or if they're just struggling on these rims or, you know, what the goal deal is, but it's been six games between the two teams, kind of struggling to find the rhythm and shooting. For teams that shoot threes, you know, that's a thing, too. I agree. Number 21, Lori Humber will shoot that mid-range jumper. Number 34 now, the new tie in it. He'll go for the free throw, or layup, and he'll get it. Somebody's got to slide over and take a charge, bottom line. Yeah, I agree. I agree. You got to stop ball. You got to stop I mean, driving. Just the way that they're driving in and flying in and, and you know, you know, taking off. They're going straight at you. If you stopped and tried to take a charge, you could get one easy right now. Deep, deep three-pointer by Gorhumba. And that'll be good. Who is that number 21 out there? I don't think I've ever seen him before. Yeah, he don't look very familiar. <laughs> He's kind of finding his rhythm here, about to get a steal. You know, he's definitely turned up the intensity a little bit Is with that, five straight points. That might be Gage Smith out there. Who? Gage Smith. I thought he graduated. <laughs> I think he was 22. Oh, he was basketball. 21 in basketball. Was he? Yeah. Might be that. 22 in football. Yeah, I know he was in football. But can't remember what he did in basketball, but.
Got to stay down right here for Cameron. And he does. He does just that. However, he loses the rebound. You've got to be strong with the ball. He will get a, end up getting a block there. Go ahead and be right by Iverson, right by another player, and he'll get fouled. He fouled by number 12. That'll be the second team foul. Parker Smith handling the ball around, getting out to number 21, Glory Humba. And are they calling a foul or a jump ball? Looks like they're going to call the foul. We're calling this game from the Pioneer side. Not a whole lot of happy fans right now. Yeah. And it's going to be Parker in the corner here, but Pioneer covers well. And number five, Weston Carl will get the shot up, and he will miss. Christian Trango doing a good job of getting back. Big shot by number 20, Cash Hammond. With two minutes and 45 seconds left to go, Kevin Douglas at 35, and the Pioneer and Mustangs 34. You know, like we said, and this game's probably going to come down to the wire. Looks like a foul's going to be called there on Pioneer, which should be their, their fourth team foul. Pioneer foul number 23, Aiden Iverson. That's his fourth personal fourth team foul. Checking That'll be his fourth, which is kind of big. Yeah. Checking the game number five, Eduardo Vargas. I mean, he's been a little bit quiet in this um, third quarter, but um, the first half, I think he had eight to ten points. He was kind of carrying the load for Pioneer. Big rebound there by 23, Cameron Smith, and he'll get the ball right back up to get two. Wildcats off and running here. We'll skip it across to Parker Smith. Nice little step, step back. back. Three. Let's see it. Let's. I got so many analogies in my head, and I can't get any of them out. <laughs> I wanted to say something, but that was smooth. That was pretty. The best thing you come up with. That was it. Listen, it. <laughs> I. That's completely on me. I completely messed that whole entire thing up. That was a sweet move. I hope it makes his highlight real. Yeah. Eduardo Vargas for three. Christian Trango getting on the floor, doing some good and. Steal by Parker Smith. He's calling for Coach Darty calling for the full court press right here. And I love the call right yes, now. Yes, yes. I mean they're they're fired up. They've, another steal there. And it's gonna be a foul number five. From Pioneer cut ball stays in Covington's court. Parker Smith calling for the ball. I, I, know this, I know this play right here. He just he just that, he just called for a certain play. And um, it's it's a certain play where Parker goes to the corner for a three. So we'll see if that comes to fruition and he gets okay. the shot. I have something in my head if this is what the call is. And they're um, just going to do an easy sideline one, and he'll shoot. Nah, just a hair off. Yeah, it was a heat check. It was a heat yeah. check. But I see what Parker Smith's doing there. He's trying to get it while it's hot because in this tournament he's uh, struggled shooting just a little bit, um, struggled to get going and be, be consistent. He's... Like his dad said the first night, you know, he's the streakiest shooter in all of Class A probably. Oh, yeah. When he's on, he's on. He's not going to miss when he's on. Yeah. Good defense by Cameron there. Just got to stay strong with it. Right, Cameron might be called for the foul there. I think they called jump ball. We're going to a quick time out of ourselves. This is inbound lead generation for our clients through integrated traditional and digital campaigns. We continuously develop new strategies, tactics, and productive efficiencies so you can reach your target market and get a measurable return on investment. This fast-paced world demands for your products and services to be presented at the moment your buyers need them. Targeted and innovative marketing creates your success. Call AMG today, your marketing partner. 
Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. We are farmers. Would you rather buy insurance from a 1-800 number or from someone you know? My name is Sarah and I'm also a Covington Douglas Wildcat. My agency is here to meet all your insurance needs, so call us today for a free quote, 405-356-0404. And don't forget to look us up on Facebook, Sarah Peer Insurance Agency. Go Cats! Have you ever watched Tony Romo commentate? How, he, how well he called up a play and what every team is doing? It's because he's been in the league for so long. And a lot of those guys it. were, but Tony Romo yes. just has something about him. You know, it's, you're seeing it from a quarterback perspective, too, which kind of helps, I think. Didn't Troy Aitman play quarterback? Yeah, but at the Didn't Terry Bradshaw play quarterback? Time. I mean, he, you know, they threw the ball, but it was more of a running league at that, at that time. And now there's so many different versions of audibles and, and things like that. And, you know, they've got they've got uh, Listen, speakers in their, in their helmets. And have you seen how much Tony Romo is making? More than he was going to play when he was playing. Okay, sure. the guy's good. Get yeah. it to him. He was your favorite quarterback for so long. Was he not? I, I never would say favorite, but he was good. You know, uh, yeah, that's about all I got to say for it. <laughs> 12 seconds left in this third quarter. Christian Tranko drives up. No good. That gives uh, Pioneer six seconds. Four, two. And that'll be the end of the third quarter. Kevin Douglas 42, the Pioneer Mustangs 34. We'll go to another quick break. Pros with Squirtle Live. Find out more at squirtle.com slash stream. Imagine a school with more than 26,000 enrollments per year, cultivating opportunities for students to develop new skills and gain industry-recognized certification. Now imagine a corporate training center that partners with more than 500 local businesses each year, providing a productive and... Don't ask me. I just... I just asked Dylan to name that tune. And the only tune he's ever known was Slim Shady by Eminem. <laughs> the, most, the most Dylan Darty thing I think I've ever seen. Hey, heard. I, like, I like Eminem, okay? Yeah, me too. Beginning of the fourth quarter here, the Cubby Meadows lead is 42, the Pioneer Mustangs 34. <laughs> Fouls have definitely been distributed evenly throughout this game. Big layup there. Big rebound by, well, it was about to be a big rebound by Christian Tarango. He just couldn't handle it. Yeah, just ate, they ate too much popcorn for the game, I think, on that one. Yeah. Good old Brucey. <laughs> Ooh, just kind of a fall there. Yeah. A little unfortunate. That's a good late decision by Parker right there. Draws one of the defenders up and, and gets that like left side guy to bite. Dumped down Chico for the layup. Great job there. Yeah, good finish there by number 24, Christian Tarango. That's definitely going to be offensive if I had to guess. Yeah, you would think. Oh, well, it's going to be on the Wildcats. You know, James Kroll. I'm not sure what they want James to do there. I mean, he had him boxed out to the three-point line. Um, wouldn't let go of him, so that's that's tough. <laughs> yeah. If you're him. Stay down if you're Glory. Good job. It's good defense. Way to get a hand up. But gotta box out and follow the shot. Looks like a block call is gonna be called there on number 21, Glory Humba. Uh, 
Um, I'm not sure. I don't think that's Glory's first foul. But I think because <laughs> he's wearing a different number now, he might be lucky. Um, he's, he had one foul, did he not? Uh, he might have. And then Allie got 21. I mean, do you think they changed it in there? I don't know. It would be I cool mean, if they, they didn't. To, they have to change that at the book when that happens. Um, but I'm not sure. Colby Vestal going to the line of shoot two for Pioneer. Yeah, you know, Covington's had a pretty tough time guarding him without fouling. Um, see if they can do something different here. Score is 44, Covington, 35, Pioneer. He will miss the second. Good decision there by Christian by um, you know being patient with that one, not just taking off with it. Number four, Parker Smith will shoot that three. Cameron Smith. That's his spot, and it looked good from here once again. Just wrong off. side of the court. Wrong side of the court. Yeah. Gloria gets a hand on it. Chico gets a block. He was out of bounds when he touched that ball is what the referee's calling. There was no foul there. Three guys up there for the Wildcats. Yep. No problem getting it in. And the burnt popcorn has returned. The smells of this arena. I agree. Had a hot dog earlier. What do you mean an ice dog? I, I think I felt that thing, and I think it was Ice Cube Center. It was. That was awful. <laughs> I, I, I think they might have pulled out a pack and just threw it in the barn. <laughs> Sick right out of the refrigerator. I honestly think it's what they did. They sat on the counter and Deeth on and just pulled that thing out. 100% uh, is what I think they just did. <laughs> <laughs> With six minutes left to go in the fourth, Kevin Douglas 44 in the Pioneer Mustangs, 35. Big shot by number four, Parker Smith, and he'll West miss. West is going to have a chance to save that. And nice I don't shot know there. How West. You know, I kind of want to see a floater out of Christian Tarango. I get what he, he was doing, but I don't know, that's a tough a tough call, tough move. Ty Dennett working it in. Looks like a foul's going to be called. Still, still um, not sure what Covington's supposed to do there. Um, yeah, I don't mean either. Probably call number 24, Christian Tarango. He is at the free throw line again. I'd be curious to see how many he's shot. He's gotten to the line quite a bit um, this game. Kind of making his living from there but he will miss the first. Luckily, he's not shooting 80% from there. Otherwise, it would be a closer game. Yeah. I'm kind of surprised the foul wasn't called there. <laughs> yeah, uh, he definitely got um, pushed just a little bit there, but not sure. Maybe it was just not enough contact. Glory being strong with basketball as always. He goes up with it. Weston with the rebound. He puts it back up. No good. And they'll get up immediately and start going the other way. Yep, they let him play a little bit on this end. Let's see if they let him do it down here. Then when the game's going to look more Covington grabby. Pushing. Parker Smith with the layup. And, he and that'll be good. Rattles that one. Right. <laughs> with five minutes and 15 seconds left, the Kevin Douglas Wildcats 46. The Pioneer Mustangs 35. I was confused at who 34 was, but uh, that was also another jersey swap that happened in this game. That is uh, number two, I believe. Timeout well, timeout's going to be called by Pioneer, so we're going to take a quick timeout. Aired workforce for employers in Oklahoma through customized training. Now, imagine a community resource who believes our business thrives when our community thrives. We aren't just the local Votech. We are Autry Technology Center. Although medical services are the way we care for people, we also believe that a community hospital provides a unique opportunity to care about people. For every stage of your life and every need your family has, we welcome you as our neighbors, fellow community members, and friends, and treat you with innovative medicine right here at home. We welcome you to discover why we say the size of the hospital has nothing to do with the size of the care. At Stillwater Medical Perry, 
we consider it a privilege to be able to help you stay as healthy as possible, keeping you conveniently close to home. The Community Medical Clinic is easy to find at 1318 Elm Street across the street from Stillwater Medical Perry Hospital. The facility serves the patients of Dr. Julian Cecil and PAC Robin Mangum. From pediatric well checks, annual wellness visits, or illness and And after that timeout, if anyone's just not tuning in, there's 55 minutes and 16 seconds left. The Kevin Douglas Wildcats 46 and the Pioneer Mustangs 35. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get started here. Pioneer Iverson bringing the ball up, which I think he needs to be careful. He's got four fouls of his own. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, at this point, you have no choice to put him in. You're down by 11. Five minutes left to go in the ball game. I mean, he's probably going to play this one out until he fouls out or, you know, the game's out with. Corey doing a great job on him. You know, if you're, if you're uh, Cameron here, just keep your hands up and stay down. No jumping. Nice block there by number 23. Got to come up with that loose ball, though. And they'll save it underneath their goal. And That's excellent hustle by um, a man off the bench, number five. What a shot, though, by 32. Yeah, he's been, he plays the glass very well. I think he's definitely one of Pioneer's best shooters just all around, I would say. He probably is the best all-around shooter. And he is a senior this year, so... Parker Smith with the ball. Looks like the Wildcats are kind of, they're going to work until they get the shot that they want. Yeah, I mean, they're definitely spreading the defense out a little bit. Glory with a big rebound, going up hard. And Kyle the glass and he'll count the basket. He will go to the line and shoot one. Good save. Thanks. <laughs> I was about to say two. <laughs> Roy Humba will get his and one shot here. We're going to have a lane violation on Cameron Smith, it looks like. So there will be no basket. That's costly right there. That one point could be the difference maker. I agree. I agree. Looks like Glory Humba is about to be called for a reach there. Oh, you know, I was wrong. And at this you point, know, you know, wouldn't mind it because for probably the first time in his high school career, he only has one foul this game. Who, Glory? Yeah. I mean, usually he hovers around that 3-4, you know, mark. Um, I've never really saw him as much as a fouler, but. Well, he's just super aggressive. I yeah, think that's he is. What it is. He's, he's active on defense. He gets his hands going. And, you know, sometimes he gets a couple of ticky-tacky ones here and there. And so he kind of hovers around that four mark. But when you're playing defense that hard, you're going to foul. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It, it, those turn into hustle fouls. Those aren't, Yeah. you know, petty fouls. And he do, usually does a pretty good job about playing smart after he gets his, you know, third or fourth one. So. Christian Tarango with the ball for the Wildcats. Find the open man there in Weston. Carl. Get that backside. Ooh. Kind of had it. would have been nasty. Tight thread. You don't want to commit any turnovers. You don't need to. Yeah. Wildcats just looks like they're kind of just holding the ball there. Number 34, Ty Dennis, going to be called for the foul there with the reach around. Parker Smith's going to be at the line for a one and one. Got to make this first one at least. Give yourself a shot at the second. And he will. Yep. Let's shoot another. That's a good job right there. Free throws are important in late games, especially when you're ahead. And he'll hit the second. With three minutes and 13 seconds left, the Kevin Douglas Wildcats 50, the Pioneer Mustangs 39. I think he's kind of regretting his decision not to shoot that first one. Yeah, <laughs> I think so too. He just spanked him. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a block's going to be called. Uh, you know he got called. But I think he flipped a quarter in his head. 
I didn't know if he was going to call a block or a charge. Well, scouting those apps where you shake your phone, you got a 50-50 chance, yes, no. It's like, ah, yep, no. We're going to get that video, we'll put it on Twitter, it's going to be a Twitter poll later. <laughs> block or charge. How great was that when I was going around? Yeah. You know, ball game's definitely still not over. 2.54 left to play. Another free throw coming up. Um, Covington 50, Pioneer 40, so 10-point game. And lane violation on Pioneer, I think. Yep. Back at the game for Pioneer. I was going to have 32 on board, Humbo. You know, I, I don't... <laughs> I kind of like that matchup if, if uh, you're Covington. I mean, he is a little bit more long, but uh, Glory's most definitely faster. No, yeah, I agree. You know, I, I think if with Glory, Glory with the ball is going to beat him down the court with the ball. But him in front of him in front of Glory shooting causes a problem. Weston Carl will shoot the first free throw. That'll be good. Weston extends the lead to 11. Good defense there by Gloria. Way to stay down. Covington's going to have the ball. And that's the man we want you to foul if, if you're a Covington uh, yep. fan. And we were just talking about it. You know, if they get the ball in Gloria, whom I don't know if 32 is going to be able to guard him. And I'll take him to the line and shoot his one-on-one. -one. Line here, foul number 23. Aiden Iverson. That's his fifth personal foul. Line Session Tan's cooking more popcorn. Yeah, you can smell the burn. <laughs> I can tell you right now, they're not cooking their hot dogs. <laughs> yeah. And that'll be a fifth foul for number 23, Iverson. So he'll be checking out of the game. It's a good game for him. Yeah, he, he, he's had a good game. Yeah. Good experience for him to yeah. play this kind of older team in Covington. Yeah, yeah. He's young. He's a freshman or sophomore. So. Number 10, Drake Darty is going to be checking into the ball game. On the court now for the Wildcats, number four, Parker Smith, number 21, formerly 15, Gloria Humba, number 10, Drake Darty, number five, Weston Carl, number 24, Christian Tarango. For his first free throw. You ready to shoot a second? With two minutes and 30 seconds left to go, Covington Douglas 53 and the Pioneer Mustangs 40. Still got to be playing uh, tight and uh, good defense if you're Covington here. Don't want to give up anything easy. Definitely no threes right now. Push people off the line. If they score a two, that's fine. Don't want them to get them hot um, from the three-point line. 50-50 uh, call. It goes Covington's way this time. Looks like they're going to discard 21 Glory Humba, but they'll have Christian Trang open. And they'll still get it, but how the 32 be called there with a hand check? I was kind of worried they were going to call Glory for the small push off there. Yeah, me too. I mean, I don't know which way that was going to go. Glory and double bonus, so he's going to get two free throws here regardless. First free, th first free throw will be good. You're Kevin Douglas, you cannot be fouling right now. Oh, yeah. You know, Definitely. you've got them in double bonus. You don't want them going to the line and shoot two with the clock stop. Yeah. I think I, mean, I wear out that line tonight. Exactly. I mean, luckily they've been making free throws when they have gotten put on the line to extend their lead a little bit. But, I mean, I'd rather them have two points and 25 seconds go off the clock than them be at the line with two and a half, two, two minutes and three seconds left and the clock being stopped and them a chance to score. No, I, I completely agree with you. Number 22, Luke Wicker checking the ball game for number 24, Christian Tarango. 
Definitely putting him in for some size. Yeah, absolutely. You kind of need this rebound. <laughs> Glory so Homer. patient with the ball in, he is. in stressful situations. It's like he knows what he's going to do with it before he touches that ball. Yep. What a sweet pass down there to Weston Carl. Yeah, that's, that's a good way to be heads up there to get your hand on that ball if you're number 12. Covington will regain control of the basketball. That's a jump ball, and they're going to come away with it here. I kind of, I didn't know if he could dunk or not, but I kind of had that feeling that he was going to do it. Everybody was yelling it, so I'm, I'm not sure. The 21 Glory Humba will get the floater. Good defense there by number 20, Cash Hammock for Pioneer. Coach Dardy not very happy with that. He definitely wanted to run some time off the clock, and now sending Pioneer to the line again. With the clock's up. Yes. I don't want to forget that. 24 Christian Tarango about to immediately go back in for the Wildcats. That's going to be Weston Carl's fifth foul. He will be checking out. Good game, Weston. That'll be a foul out for number five, Weston Carl. He has had a good game. Yep. He's having a good senior campaign. Mm -hmm. like to see uh, Covington take just a little bit better care of the basketball this next possession. Um, definitely got to secure it. Don't have to score. 55 is enough to win this game as long as you play defense and play smart. Before Parker Smith handling the ball and get a wide open lane that way. I see him willing to take that. Got lucky there <laughs> a little bit. Almost stolen. Gambled down that pass. Foul, foul glory home, but he'll be going to line to shoot too. First shot will go in. I mean, like I said, these, these free throws came in, came in pretty clutch. You know, Covington had 50 points. Um, if they, if they make most of these free throws, you know, it's a five-point game right now, 50-45, but they've made seven, so, you know, they extended the lead to 12. Couldn't have said it better myself. With a minute and eight seconds left, Covington Douglas 57, the Pioneer Mustangs 45. You know, I think if you're the Wildcats, you got to do everything you can and hunt foul. Yes. And that? Wow. Okay, I don't, I don't agree with it. I don't like the call. Coach already scratching his head over there. Yeah, he's scratching <laughs> his head. I, I don't understand. You know, I think Luke Wicker did a really good job. He, he the, the Bestel kid, um, I think he's probably shot 23 free throws tonight. That's just off the top of my head, guess. Be close. Uh, he's very good at getting in the yeah, He's very yeah, he good is. at it. He's, he's, done, very good he's done a good job getting there. The I'd like to see his stat line. I'm curious to see what, what he scored tonight. Number 34, Derek Darty checking into the ball game. Now there's going to be a push called there. Wildcats go to the other end to shoot two. Who's the lucky one to get to shoot two here? That Luke Wicker will go to the free throw. Free throw on and shoot two. Love to see him get a couple buckets here. He'll miss the first. And he will get the second. And the 30 there for Pioneer. He'll shoot, he'll rip and rip. Derek Darty working. See if he can go to the other end and throw a dunk down. Got to be smarter than that and pull that ball out. Don't, Are like you I said, don't kidding need me? to score. Are you kidding me? Yeah, no, that's... He's, he's a freshman playing yeah. the Skelter Tournament. Let him go up there. He wanted to, he no. wanted to jam it. <laughs> Let gotta, Derek Darty play. Got to be smarter than that. He, he knows better than that. He's got to pull that ball out and run time off the clock. I understand. I, I get what you're saying. 
I just really wanted Derek Daugherty to score. Yeah, well, you're going against a very lanky, tall, uh, you know, senior. <laughs> Not going to have much success against that. He can do it. <laughs> show some show some faith. <laughs> Number 21, Glory Hooman going to shoot two here. Parker Smith giving Derek a little trash down there. I can see that. Yeah. <laughs> Glory Humba. We missed the first one. Number 11, Kate Griffin checking into the ball game. Second free throw will be good. Number 20, Blake Vogel going in. I mean, this is some good minutes for some young guys, but. 43, and I, I kind of think it's still I too don't. close. To, I don't know. I yeah. agree. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm not a fan. But I, I don't like it either. <laughs> but I am. I'm happy the young guys are getting yeah. a chance to play. But, you know, two threes and it's a game. So <laughs> I, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm happy. Pioneer sub two. Derek Darty, Kay Griffin handling the ball. Just pull it out there. The 34, Derek Darty, he'll get to put that one in Brother Dylan's eye. Yeah. Put that one in his eye. That's all right, that's all right. With Good three shot. seconds left, two, one. That'll be the end of the ball game. The Kevin Douglas Wildcats, 61. And Pioneer, 45. We'll stay here for the presentation of the trophy. That'll be third place for the Kevin Douglas Wildcats. Will take third place in today's tournament. Congratulations, Kevin Douglas. Going to put some uh, hardware in the trophy case this year. And it's a great bounce back game for them. Uh, great bounce back game. Uh, join someone Tuesday as they pick up Tuesday to play DCLA. Friday they have a rivalry game, the Black Bear Creek Showdown is coming to Covington on Friday, and uh, we'll catch you on one of those days. You guys have a good night. Injuries. Dr. Cecil, Robin, and their staff enjoy taking care of patients of all ages. The facility serves as one of Perry Sooner Care providers. Medicare, Medicaid, and most other insurance are accepted. Stay close to home. To schedule an appointment time, call 580-336-9411. Are you looking for a local, reliable propane provider? Earnhardt Oil and Propane has been serving customers throughout Oklahoma since 1971. Let them tailor a pricing option to fit your budget. Avoid winter price spikes with easy pay, steady, predictable monthly payments you can count on. Need more fuel options? They also offer bulk fuel delivery, DEF, lubricants, and supplies for your business, all at competitive prices. For reliability three generations strong, call Earnhardt Oil and Propane at 866-270-1279 or visit www.earnhardtpropane.com. For those in Perry and the surrounding